Hey guys, it's 3.30 Thursday morning, and uh, this little fella got caught in the, the glue trap. So I got me a mouse, and I do have some more roaches, so... Uh, Anyway, I'll be giving this little fella over to John today. It's Thursday, um, 5 after 3. Uh, John sent me a text message yesterday saying that um, a different pest control company was coming over and he wants me to be here. So I'm waiting for them, uh, and this is what I have to give to him. Uh, a mouse, several dead roaches. So, um, you know, I'm going to ask him, why is it that, you know, mine is the only apartment that is infested with these vermin? You know, it's disgusting. So, I'm not going to be recording while he's here. So, um, I'll just let y'all know how it goes. Bye, guys. Anyway, guys, I forgot to tell you that um, the pest control um, guy did come this morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, John came with him and... Um, so he came in and he looked around at all the glue traps and all the snap traps that John had put out. And he said, well, there's been no activity in the traps. And so I had my little bag there that I had bagged up the mouse and all the dead roaches in. So I opened it up and I said, well, here's the activity that I've had. So he goes, oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, then I think he got serious about looking for, for pests. So, um... The guy took his flashlight and he looked, you know, all underneath my kitchen cabinets and up above my sink and everywhere. And he saw everything is, you know, either enclosed in glass, sealed in, in glass canisters or enclosed in Ziploc bags. So uh, he, uh, he told me, he said, I understand you have vaccinated bronchitis. And he said, I will chemicals have no smell. But he said, uh, you know, if I, if I do come and spray... So he told me where all he would be spraying. He said he would even want me to take my pictures off the walls because they, you know, will crawl back behind there and lay eggs and everything. So, uh, and then he said then he would ask me to leave the apartment for at least four hours. So, um, so I told him, you know, I said, it's been like this ever since I moved in here six years ago. And I said, it just gets worse and worse. And, um, said, you know, the only time that it did abate was when um, John hired that pest control company about two years ago, but then they've come back in full force, so um, I said, how can it be that my apartment is the only one with the roaches and the mouse? He said, it, it's not. He said, they're lying if they say that they don't have roaches and they've never seen a mouse. He said, they're lying. So, um, so then he left, and he went into the other apartments. So then he came back, and um, so John told me, he said, Glenda, I haven't finalized it yet or anything, but, um, you know, I'll let you know what I decide. So I guess he's going to write up a proposal for John, and then they'll make the decision on whether or not he's going to hire this pest control company. But anyway, when he came back, he said, um, he asked one of the tenants upstairs, had she ever seen any roaches, and she told him no. Now, why would they just outline, outright lie about having roaches and, and mice? What are they doing in their apartment that's so illegal that they don't want even a pest control guy in there? Other than, you know, overcrowding, too many, too many adults in a, a one bedroom. But anyway, I, you know, that's neither here nor there. All I want is for, you know, the... the pest to be gotten out of my apartment and not come back. I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the stress. I'm tired of the filth. I'm tired of having to wash everything and sterilize everything.